Here we are today at Stamford Bridge to launch the 2010 FIFA World Cup game. It's the first time we've publicly shown the game to people. They're in there now playing it, hopefully having some fun. The big thing we're telling them about is the online World Cup and the fact that we now have, for the first time in one of our titles, uh, the entire tournament online. So you've got that whole problem of getting out of the group, can you get enough points in that third group game? You have to keep an eye on what's going on in the game that's being played simultaneously. And then four knockout rounds before you actually get to lift the World Cup yourself. The Offline World Cup has all 199 teams available, so you can start your qualification anywhere in the world. Even fans of the Republic of Ireland can select Ireland and play through the Online World Cup. We have a full team on the World Cup game. It's not as if it's some cheap reincarnation of FIFA. And we've got over 100 enhancements on the FIFA 10 gameplay and World Cup, some to fix some known exploits, others just general improvements, so that the de facto gameplay now for the FIFA family is in the World Cup game. For the first time ever, ladies feature in, in one of our titles. During the broadcast of the World Cup, you will see the director cut to a lady of his choice from time to time, and they add a great deal of colour and variety to the spectacle of the World Cup. I'm sure we agree. It really encapsulates what the World Cup is really about, and you know, just just playing it, you know, the, the, the sharpness, uh, the fans, uh, the changes to, to some of the graphical aspects of the game. So it's 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 a wonderful job they've done. Everything's been tweaked, ironed out. The gameplay's been refined. The presentation's been refined. Um, it's more playable, more enjoyable. It's got the kind of party feel for a World Cup in it. It's like get a free ticket to South Africa at the end of the day, really, isn't it? It's, I think lots of people are going to enjoy it even more than they enjoyed FIFA 10.